Well, hello everyone. I just wanted to make a get ready with me video. I'm testing out my new tripod and my new camera. Um, and I think I'm cutting my head off, so let me just, there we go. Yeah, I'm learning how to do the YouTubes. My get ready with me video is pretty much going to entail uh, straightening these things and uh, putting a little eyeliner on and covering up some of this stuff, but other than that, I'm pretty, uh, pretty basic with my get ready stuff. I'm a pretty oily individual, even though I'm, you know, 28 years old, I still have a lot of oil production. <laughs> what are you gonna do? And uh, any products that I use in this video, I'm definitely not sponsored by. You know, Considering I have what, like one video on this channel right now, I don't have any sponsorships. <laughs> what? So I like to use um, simple wipes on my face, just because I'm allergic to benzoyl peroxide, and so it keeps me from getting too irritated. And I like the exfoliating ones because one side is rougher than the other. Um, so now I am using Maybelline BB Pure. Like I said, I'm a very oily individual. I get a lot of acne. Um, so I like to use some stuff with salicylic acid in it. Now, um, all Beautubers look away, because I know this is probably cringeworthy, me using my, my hands, oh my god, who uses their hands to put things on their face. <laughs> I don't have time for a beauty blender. I don't have time to, you know, get all those weird toothbrush-shaped brushes to spread my foundation on. And, you know, I don't use a primer, because honestly, so I have a primer. Let me show you. I have this mattifying primer from Makeup Forever. Um, it smells like crap. Sorry. It does. It smells terrible. I put it on my face and I feel gross. Not, I mean, I'm sure it works just fine as a primer, but the smell of it, I just can't. I just can't even with it. Um, so I just choose not to use it. The reason I have it, and the reason I have most of the makeup that I have, because I mean, you're gonna, I'm gonna be pulling out some stuff, like I've got some Anastasia, you know, brow pomade, I've got cover effects, um, powder, and stuff like that. Honestly, I don't know if that's a good brand. Is it a good brand? Um, is because when I got married, got married two and a half years ago, um, I had my makeup artist take me to Sephora and I said, show me what I need to buy and then I will buy it. And that's what I did. I also have some Kat Von D um, foundation, some real foundation in like the palest color ever. I look like a ghost. Honestly, it probably takes me about five minutes to do my face stuff. Um, I am doing just like a very, very basic, like going to work, um, going to a meeting, going to something where I don't want to look like I just rolled out of bed, but I also don't have time to get ready because it's 5.30 in the morning and I just don't care that much. And I have this NARS concealer in light. I mean, duh. Feel the beauty was cringing. <laughs> I do not feel fancy enough today to use my Cover Effects powder. I feel just fancy enough to use this very expired L'Oreal True Match powder. Cool C1 Alabaster. Yep, that's me. <laughs> so I just take my brush and I cover it as much as possible. I don't whack it because with my oily self, I need as much of this stuff as I can get. I'm just gonna cake it on there. <laughs> For eyeliner, yes, I do in fact use a stick eyeliner. Um, I really like the Maybelline New York um, Unstoppable one that like self sharpens. However, oily individual, this stuff will oil off by the end of my day. You know, you work 12, 13 hours, you get sweaty, it's pretty much gone. So I've discovered this Maybelline Ultra Liner in waterproof. I'm gonna use this one because it's actually very sticky. Should I do a cat eye? Who wants to see a cat eye? I did have another liner before this, a liquid liner. Again, bought it for my wedding. And it is Kat Von D 
tattoo liner. I do not care for it because if you go over a line that you've already gone over with liner, like if you already have liner on and you try to add more, it wipes it off. It doesn't actually um, add, you know, whereas this stuff, you can layer it. It's a good cat eye. It's very subtle. What do you think? So I'm just gonna do the other side. Shaky hands. Does anybody else, when you try to put eyeliner on your eye, your eyes just instinctively quiver and shut? Do they match? Did I do a good job? <laughs> no. I give up. I'm gonna wash my face. I'm gonna go as a bag lady. What do I do? Oh god. Okay. Does that match? A little bit, right? Matches better. Nobody's gonna stare at me that much. Just cover the bad one with your bangs. That's my beauty hack. My trick to my mascara is I like to dig the brush into the base and then blink my eye. Because I have a very prominent brow bone. Thank you, Father, for that. And so if I try to go up, I always, I don't know if you can see it, I always hit my eyebrow. And then I get these like black marks on my eyebrows. Which is a blonde, you do not want black eyebrows because everybody's gonna be like, what the hell's wrong with your eyebrow? Right. I don't use eyeshadow on the daily. I don't contour. Um, I don't normally use a blush. Oop. Brush hair. I need her help. I'm going to use this very old L'Oreal brow brow pencil in light blonde. I just make a line. You know, I have a lot of, I have good brows. I really do. And I don't wax my brows. Um, I got them waxed a couple times when I was in junior high, when, you know, the hair started. And ever since then, everything that grows back in is pretty white blonde. So I don't really have to worry about it. Right, look. So now I have brows that pretty much look the same. And we're sweating. Yeah, I don't like stuff on my lips. It bothers me. Then you hear the sweat sizzling against the flat iron. That's it. I am ready for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys come back and watch more of my channel. I'm going to put the links down below for my Instagram and my Twitter. If you guys have ideas for videos that you want to see, please tweet me or Instagram me or however the internet works nowadays, <laughs> might end up getting a Snapchat. So, um, yeah, love to you and yours. Bye.